In 2014, Tony Seba predicted that battery prices would fall to 50 US dollars per kilowatt hour in 2027. Experts said he was insane. They said he was crazy. Uh, lithium prices would surely never be low enough for that to be possible. However, Seba has just tweeted that actually he, he might have gotten it a bit wrong. Maybe he was late because it's likely to happen this year. We know there's going to be an electric car bloodbath. I mean, a crazy rush to the bottom in terms of prices for EVs this year. By the end of this year, it will almost certainly be cheaper to buy an internal combustion. No, it won't. Actually, it'll be cheaper to buy an EV by the end of this year. Now, the EV haters, they're going to struggle with this. This is going to, this is going to make them post all this stuff they post on Facebook and, and all the stuff they make up. They're going to make up fake YouTube videos because they can't handle the fact that actually EVs are a better product, which will be cheaper very, very soon. So why will EVs be cheaper? Well, because battery prices are going to be slashed. There is going to be a bloodbath. There is already a bloodbath, to be honest. It has already begun. People just haven't really noticed it. However, many new EVs. I mean, we're hearing new EVs coming from Kia and Hyundai. Uh, we hear about new different models coming out from different legacy automakers. And what battery do they have in them? Oh, funny that. They now have CATL batteries. Why is it? Why are they using CATL batteries? Or why are they using BYD batteries now from China rather than other car companies like they used to use? Well, because of prices. The product is great. The price is even greater. And CATL are now saying that they will slash battery costs by 50% by the end of this year. That means... Other battery makers will have no choice but to do the same. They'll have no choice for one very good reason. It has already begun. It started now. And that is what happened last year. What happened last year will continue this year, but possibly to an even greater degree. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. CATL. In 2022, they had 32% market share worldwide, 32%. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, 32%, there's like, what, 100 battery companies worldwide. Surely they're going to lose market share, but they didn't. They actually increased it from 32 in 2022 to 34 in 2023. So more than one in every three batteries sold worldwide last year was branded CATL, manufactured by CATL. CATL are working on a factory in Europe. They're working on multiple different factories around the world. And they say they're going to bring the cost of their batteries down by an additional 50% this year. Last year, they reduced their prices by more than 30%. And this is huge because 35 to 40% of the cost of the car comprise the battery pack. If the cost of batteries halves again, it will clearly be cheaper to manufacture an EV than an internal combustion engine vehicle. Now here's the thing, CATL is saying it's not even going to take them that long. They don't need till the end of this year. They're saying by the middle of 2024, prices of their batteries, which are now significantly better than they were before last year, will come down by 50%. Their lithium ion phosphate batteries now have higher energy density. They can charge at about three times the speed of what they could previously, and they work incredibly well in cold temperatures. I mean, they work even better apparently at zero degrees Celsius. What this means is that now you're paying much less for a far better product. CATL is saying that this price will apply to their lithium iron phosphate cells. This means that by the end of this year, EVs will be much cheaper. I mean, Tesla has been blamed for a so-called uh, massive price war. But the truth is here, it's not just coming from Tesla, it's coming from BYD, it's coming from multiple automakers, but it's good for consumers. When you hear CEOs of car companies uh, criticize Tesla for bringing down the price of EVs, is that really something that we should also be critical of? Should we be critical that Tesla is forcing other manufacturers to sell cheaper EVs? I don't personally think so. I think that's a good thing. Thank you, BYD. Thank you, Tesla. I think it's great news. Anyhow, BYD's lithium ion phosphate batteries can be fully charged in less than 30 minutes, as in a full battery pack. They are now capable of 500 kilowatt fast charging, right? This is insane. And they're saying that their battery cells will come down to a price of around $55 per kilowatt hour. The magic price for EVs to be on par with gasoline powered vehicles 
for batteries is $85 or around 80 US dollars per kilowatt hour. So CHL is saying the price is gonna come down to $56, meaning it should be significantly cheaper for uh, companies such as BYD and Tesla to make an EV than what it was last year. So the bloodbath going on right now with Tesla's stock price, maybe there's something, maybe that means there's an opportunity to jump on Tesla right now. I mean, Toyota are the biggest car maker in the world, but they don't have the capacity to manufacture millions of EVs. They don't even have the capacity to manufacture 500,000 EVs. CNF Post said that the average price of lithium ion phosphate battery cells in mid-2023 was approximately about 100 US dollars. This means the price of an average 60 kilowatt hour battery pack will have dropped from approximately 6,700 US dollars to 3,400 US dollars in just 12 months. Meaning the most expensive part of an EV will now be probably cheaper to make than an internal combustion engine. According to CNF Post, Vice President of Leap Motor, who currently purchases battery cells from CATL pays $500 or 500 RMB per kilowatt hour, but he's saying CATL will reduce that price to 320 RMB per kilowatt hour, meaning the price will come down to around 50 US dollars per kilowatt hour. That is incredible. It will mean that energy storage, battery energy storage combined with solar, which has now come down in price drastically as well, is going to be a just a far better solution than coal or gas or any other type of fossil fuel power. In fact, it'll be a fraction of the cost. Tony Sieber's predictions are coming right, clearly. Tony Sieber said that he predicted battery prices would come down to around this level 10 years ago. He said, batteries from CHL and BYD dropping as low as $56 per kilowatt hour. Currently, they cost around $70 per kilowatt hour for Leap Motor. I mean, I'm estimating that Tesla probably pays even less than that. He said in my book, Clean Disruption, I predicted that lithium ion batteries would reach $50 per kilowatt hour by 2027. Um, that sounded insane, of course. Uh, we all thought Seb was, well, we didn't all think it, but a lot of people thought Seb was crazy. I mean, I'm obviously a bit of an optimist. I thought he was right. I agree with everything that he said. But I mean, he got it wrong. It, is it going to happen? $50 per kilowatt hour in 2027? No, I'd say it'd be cheaper than that. I'd say it'd probably be less than $50 per kilowatt hour because lithium ion phosphate batteries have competition. They have competition not only from other manufacturers, not only from CATL's rivals, but also from sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion battery factories are now being built in Europe, being built in China. So the cost of lithium has continued to plummet. And part of the reason for that is there is maybe too many lithium mines. We're discovering new sources of lithium constantly. This puts downward pressure on the prices of lithium, makes batteries even cheaper. It's a virtuous cycle. Now, we, if we add to this, that within the next five, 10 years, there will be a huge number of battery packs being recycled. Keep in mind, it's easier to recycle a battery pack than to mine new lithium, much, much, much easier, much cheaper then we will have a closed loop cycle eventually. We won't, actually, we won't actually end up needing to mine any more lithium. Probably about 15 to 20 years from now, we will need no more lithium mining. That will make batteries even cheaper again. The future of the world, my friends, is most certainly electric. Now, on that note, I think we have some amazing things to look forward to. Cheaper EVs, cheaper battery storage, cheaper solar, renewable energy and cleaner air. Basically just a better world for our kids and for everyone. This is fantastic news and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.